Good afternoon, Poggy Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 13 video. Bring you another Series 13 video. Now, this time around, we're running the monkey. We're going full monkey mode today with a life orb real boom. Now, I mentioned a couple of weeks, or well, not weeks, I guess a couple days back when we were using this team right over here, Lord Helix, that not a lot of poke not a lot of people run the Pokemon Rillaboom that much, which means that you know Lord Helix can kind of thrive in the current meta and you know just take a lot of lives. But now we're running the Rillaboom because I think it's stupid that people don't run Rillaboom anymore. This Pokemon it, it literally nullified and negated so many water types in the meta ever. And it's not like Kyogre went anywhere, so why we're not using Rillaboom, I just simply don't understand. Now this team is actually from Captain Yanova, also known as Cap who is uh, a co-host on the Game Corner podcast, also does have their own YouTube channel. We'll link that down below in the description. They won the Poke Sports Liege, and not only did they win the Poke Sports Liege for this month, or last month, actually, they knocked me out of it. So, in all good Poke Sports Liege fashion, we're going to go ahead and run their team here on the channel. Um, this is the second tournament in the month of... Uh, September that I was knocked out of by the champion of the tournament, which is hey, that's pretty fine, right? At least I only lose to the best uh, But nevertheless, this team is just absolutely wonderful. I did take cap to a 2-1 So I did squeeze in one victory in there But at the end of the day the Rillaboom was actually a big reason why I wasn't able to break through the team that much The the grout on that I had on my team just simply wasn't hanging with that Rillaboom Especially since this one is a life orb Rillaboom. It was just really packing a punch here now We kind of, we kind of have like a standard um, hot dog team with, you know, Zacian, Groudon, Calyrex, Shadow. Now you're allowed to run all three. Who would have guessed? But we also have the amazing core of the Rillaboom, Ensign, and the Grimstone team. So yeah, this team is kind of high meta. But it's high meta in the sense that uh, Rillaboom used to be meta. For some reason, it's not so much meta anymore, but it's also not bad. So we're going to try it in today's video. If you guys are excited to see Rillaboom here on the channel, or if you guys are just excited to see some v, uh, some VGC Series 13 content, go ahead, hit the like button down below, and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. With that said, let's get on to today's video. Tapu Lele. Also running the same three restrict as we are, except their team is a little bit spicier. Okay. Got a Tapu Lele and Ursh. Well, Ursh makes me not want to bring Calyrex, though, to be all honest. But they do have, like, an expanding force lead with their Lele and their Calyrex. That's interesting. I think this time around, we might need, like, Instant Grimmsnarl to do something. Just really get Instant Grimmsnarl going. Maybe not Instant Grimmsnarl. What if we do, like, Rilla Grimmsnarl? Rilla's kind of really good into their whole team, except for, like, maybe Zacian. So we can go Rilla Grimmsnarl, bring in the Zacian that we have, and bring in the Groudon. I do want to bring our Ensign, though, but I'm, I'm leaning towards Rilla. The only reason I'm leaning towards Rilla is to change the terrain on my opponent, right? Because if we if they have Psychic Terrain up, then they could just take advantage of us, and I don't like that at all. I'm also pretty sure that if they lead with Lele, then Rillaboom can just under speed Lele and be able to just do an incredible amount of damage here. The other thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is that I don't know where their Sash is. They have three Pokemon and they're all they have three Pokemon on their team that all appreciate Sash, right? They have the Calyrex, they have the Urshifu, and they have the Whimsicott. So it's leading me to believe this is like an E button win, which would be weird though, right? Because they have Psychic Terrain on their team. Unless they just don't plan on bringing both at the same time, which is always possible. Calyrex Whimsicott is going to be their lead of choice. All right. Ah, uh, we got to find the Sash, I guess. I think, like, no matter what we do, we can't stop their Tailwind. So what's the point? You know? Unless I'm, like, really predicting my fake out to do that much damage, but I'm, I'm honestly not. Like, I want to fake out the whim, and I want to go for something here. Probably a light screen. But I also think I would much rather just go for the Cali spot and click the light screen. Just to, just to dip my toes into that Cali damage. They actually hard swapped the whim, so I did make the right decision. Oh, never mind. Into the Lele. Which is still not a bad thing. Because I don't think that one Astro Barrage is going to one-shot my Rillaboom. And getting up the light screen just, you know, became that much better for us. 
All right, there's Psychic Seed. Copy. Good to know. Now, unfortunately, we can't go for T-Wave on the Calyrex Shadow Spot anymore. But the Astro, we should be able to eat up. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. So that's definitely a Sash. It's definitely not Specs or Life Orb or anything like that. I'm probably going to preserve this Rilla for as long as I can. So let's hard swap into our AV Groudon. And just go for the Spirit Break. Finish off the Calyrex. I think that's a fair decision here. The Calyrex, the Calyrex shouldn't be able to live another hit here. And it's not like the Astro Barrage is going to do a lot behind a light screen and to an Assault Vest to Groudon. Now, granted, they could go for an Expanding Force, but then they're definitely not doing damage to Grimmsnarl there. All right, just another Astral. Again, fair. Totally get it. But like I said, not going to do a lot of damage to us. Oh, by the Gleam. That's going to hurt. Light screen save me. Thank you, light screen. Ha ha ha. Spirit break. Bop. Great damage into the Rex. Able to eliminate it from the game. Now I can set up Reflect if I so choose. It all really depends on what they show me in the end game. Or what they show me they have in the back. I'm assuming it's a Zation. They're just showing me Wim again. See, I'm going to Dynamax and I'm going to click Steel Spike onto Lele. And then I'm going to click Reflect just so I have it. Just so I have, just so I have an attack this turn. Otherwise, I'm just dying this turn for no reason. They're just going to Gleam again. But, you know, Dynamaxing here is going to be great for us. They have to Dynamax something, right? Unless they don't have Zacian in the back. Because they didn't Dynamax anything yet. Which is definitely interesting. Yeah, they have to. Charming. You forgot about your own terrain, Tom? Good job. Anyway, L Reflect is up now. <laughs> okay, Charm Whim. Fine by me. You gave me the terrain. You, you put it on the field. Now I don't even want to take it away from you. I should be able to eliminate this uh, Lele, though. Completely obliterate. Beautiful. Now, if I did get charmed, that would have been bad. Not going to lie. Not going to front. I still don't know what their last is, which makes me not want to bring Relibum now. Right? Because I don't want to... Like, if, if their last is Zacian, then I want to bring my Zacian. I want to take advantage of the fact that the terrain is up while I can. All right, what do they got? Ursh! You, you brought four Pokemon that don't want to Dynamax? I'm totally down with that. All four of them that don't want to Dynamax. Cool. Yeah, I'm throwing everything I got. Ah, should I though? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm throwing everything I got into Wim. Should I though? Yeah, I'm throwing everything I got I got into Wim. Because for some reason I think Wim is Dynamaxing here. Just because Urshifu like really doesn't want to Dynamax, I think Wim is Dynamaxing. Actually, that's a Pokeball. I think Urshifu can only be caught in a Pokeball. Eh, eh. G Max Ursh! Stopping on by. Okay. Fine. Here you are. Tailwind, you'll get one attack off, but I do have plus defense. Knuckle. Makes sense. Can't argue that logic. But again, it, it goes back to me saying, why did you bring a bunch of Pokemon that didn't want to Dynamax? Yeah, all I got to do here is just eliminate this Whimsicott from the game. And hey, the Whimsicott could not have Sash, right? It could be a no Sash Whim. No, okay, so the Sash was on the Whim, which means the Spectre had something else. Yeah, I don't quite know what the Spectre had then. Definitely not something common, right? Definitely not something common. 
But hey, they're down to one bigger. Granted, my Dynamax is now over, and they are at plus one. So they are a little bit terrifying, but as long as I can get them down low enough to where a Life Orb, Brillaboom, Grassy Glide can do a damage, I'm okay with that. Oh, and I still have one more turn of Dynamax? Never mind. All right, cool. Quake, followed by the Big B Blade. And there's nothing that Ursh can do here at this point, right? Battle was canceled, yeah. Ursh can't hang. Ursh can't hang with the... Uh, with the Groudon and the Zacian on the field, man. I'm doing double damage with Be a Behemoth Blade. It's over there. GG's. Kartana making an appearance on the channel today. All right. It's been a while since we see, we see you know, some Kartana here. So I'm glad to, to get to face it. I'm not glad that I have to face against the Whimsicott again. Um, But... Uh, looking at their team, the Rillaboom is hard, man. It's hard to justify the Rillaboom here simply because, like, look. Got two Pokemon that resist it. One Pokemon that has Intimidate. The other Pokemon has Flying type. They got a lot more than two Pokemon that resist it. have one, two, three, four, five Pokemon that resist Grass. Yeah, sorry, Rilla. I am so sorry. I can't justify bringing Rillaboom to this matchup at all. What I can justify doing is, like, just, like, a Grimmsnarl in Sensation Groudon thing. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I'm going with the passive lead, right? I don't typically go this whole nuisance passive lead with the setting up our defenses until the game ends thing. But it, sometimes there's a time and sometimes there's a place and now it just so happens to be both that time and that place. Nice shoes. Whimsicott is going to be the lead. And the Ensign is going to be the lead for their side of the field. Okay, so they're kind of going for the same thing with this whole passive lead thing. You have to pay attention to Intimidates. Their Intimidate is first. That means they're faster. That sucks. Because I wanted to fake them out, but now I won't be able to. Here's the thing. They can either fake out my Ensign or they can fake out my Grim. They can't fake out both, so... I'm totally cool to just, like, click Reflect, I think. And click Fake Out on their Whim. I can't click Fake Out on their Instant because they're Instant Outspeed. So my only option is to click Fake Out on the Whim. So worst case scenario, nothing happens. Best case scenario, um, nothing happens. No matter what, if nothing happens this turn, we've accomplished this turn. We've done it. This turn is ours. We've taken over the game. The game is ours. The good news is, we have a super effective stab against their team. They don't. Currently. Wow, this is probably the most boring match in the history of Pokemon. Anyway, they hard swap the whim because they know that the only thing we can do is go for the fake onto the whim. They go into the Groudon now. Interesting. Do I have Shuckerberry? Now, I'm definitely glad that I decided to go for the Reflect first. Oh, we're speed tying. Okay, good to know. We are just simply speed tying. Interesting. Oh, never mind. They taunted. Well, I got the Reflect up. That's all I needed, right? All I needed was that Reflect. Okay, and they were going to be Lefty's Groudon. That means they can do some scary things that I don't want them to do. Uh, I don't really have a great switch in right now. I will just hard swap my Groudon, though. Then maybe even Parting Shot here on their Groudon. I should have Shuckerberry, I think. If I recall correctly. Sheldon, do you have Shuckerberry? Yes, he does. Thank you, Sheldon. All right, so as long as we have Shuckerberry, we should be okay. Especially with the Reflect up. Get that Parting Shot off. Start spamming Intimidates. Try to ruin their lives. Yep. Om nom 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 nom. Shuckerberry. Now, what did their Ensign do? Is the question. They go for the Parting Shot. On our Ensign. Perfect. That's the wrong one, Tom. Because we're about a Parting Shot out here. Oh, this is going to be the world's most boring Pokemon battle. This, like, uh, there might be some people that like this whole competitive chess thing. Uh, it's so boring for me. It's boring for me to play. Because it's like, this is what we're just doing. Back and forth. All right. Yeah, congratulations, Groudon. You have less attack now. The thing is, now they just go into whoever they want. The thing is, I just go into my Zacian now. And I get a lot of pressure here. Now, they have the option of Tailwind Dynamax. I'm going to go for Heavy Slam. 
I'm gonna go for Heavy Slam on Wim. Nah, negative two. I should take it. I should take an attack on negative two, right? Ooh, this is a this is a little bit of a rough one. Maybe I won't go for Heavy Slam. Maybe I'll just go for P Blades. Keep it simple. I don't want to commit to a Dynamax yet. I'm just gonna go back into Instant. Just keep swapping the instants. That way, if they swap an instant, I can take advantage of that and just go for the P-Blades myself. And I also get another fake out turn this next turn, which is always nice. Especially if they don't plan on Dynamaxing. It looks like we're both trying to hold their Dynamax for as long as possible. Okay, they are going to swap an instant again. Fine. But I get the P-Blades off, Hopefully. Now, I would have been able to go for the Heavy Slam onto the win, which probably would have bro broke it down to Sash. But it's okay. Worst things have happened. Alright, I was about to say, did I miss? But no, we just pop Shuka. Fair. Ah, we popped Shuka. Can't really complain about that. Now I'm going to hard swap back into my Grimmy. And just go for a big flare blitz onto the whim spot. Nothing really wants to take this flare blitz. And there's nothing on the field that can knock me out. I mean, they could always fake out my instant, but that seems like a wasted turn, if you had to ask me. I think taking the shot on the whim is good. It gives us the Pokemon advantage. All right, here's a fake out. Perfect. Predicted that. E ball. Whatever. <laughs> Even more of a reason to knock out the Whimsicott. If I had E-Ball, that would actually do a lot of damage to my Groudon, and I don't like that. Competitive chess, baby! Okay, we knocked out the Whim. We finally got a Pokemon advantage. Unfortunately, the Whim did set up Tailwind, which causes some problems. Causes a couple of issues, specifically for our Zation in the back. Now, we do have T-Waves and stuff. The problem is we can't really T-Wave either one of these mods. Um, I already have Reflect up. Don't really need light screen up. I guess I'm going for spirit break. And probably a hard swap into my Groudon. Wish me luck. Um, because this also means I'm gonna have to Dynamax one of my I'm gonna have to Dynamax my Groudon eventually. I just don't really see the time and the place yet. Now they could Dynamax theirs here, maybe. But they don't. Okay, cool. Our P Blades is gonna hurt a lot. My Reflect is really holding up, though. Okay, they went for Taunt. Doesn't matter. There's no point in me setting up Light Screen because I don't think they have any special attackers left. So, hey, free Spear Break damage. Can't complain. That's some pretty decent damage, to be entirely honest. I might actually take the shot here in Dynamax. I don't know, though. I don't know how I feel. What are we looking at? Three more turns of Reflect. I'm going to go back in Instant. And I think I'm Dynamaxing here. Should I? I have to Dynamax with Groudon because I really can't Dynamax with anyone else. I'm going to take a look at their team. Do they have any floaties? They could have Evil Tall. I really want to just take the shot here on this instant. I mean, theoretically, I could go Frock Fall. But I think Quake is still my better option. Just in case it's a Zacian. I'm going for this Ensign. I'm taking the shot first. Don't have Evil Tall. Dang it! Ugh! I made a gamble there. That's my bad. That is entirely my bad. Okay, so that does mean... That means a couple things. Um... It means my Zacian is very important and neither Tailwind to run out. That's all that, that's all that it means right now. I need my, my Zacian to get back on the field. In fact, if this Groudon can knock out my Instant right now, I would prefer that. Because then it means I can go for the Behemoth Blade onto this Evil Toll and knock it out. Uh, maybe not knock it out, but at least do enough damage so my Groudon can knock it out. So right now, this turn, my Groudon's not going to attack. If they double miss the P-Blades, I think I'll also take that at this point. I don't think they died to Max Groudon. Alright, they don't miss P-Blades. But my Instant does live it, though. Yeah, my Max Quake is completely wasted. And they're Tailwind Peters, though. Okay, so, 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 uh. I'm gonna fake out the Groudon, predicting it to stay a baby. And then Rock Fall the Instant. Not the Instant, the Yield Call spot. I mean, Instant could always swap back, but I don't think it does. 
If it does, then I kind of get the, the pretty decent shot there, though. The issue is I never set up light screen, man. I could have set up light screen. I never did. Yeah, they swap out that spot. Fine by me for now. As long as my Zacian isn't the one getting intimidated, I think I'm okay with that. I also think Yvotal needs two airstreams in order to outspeed me. Uh, my Groudon will be at negative one now, though. That's the, the other issue. We'll see how much damage I can do here to this Yvotal. We'll see. If the Yvotal even attacks that spot. I don't even know. All right, let's clap you. See where the evil tall goes into. It is going to be one airstream into my Groudon. I should take one. I should be able to rock. To hit it with a rock move. The rock move won't do enough. If I hit it with a rock move last turn when it was a baby dude. Oh, it's life orb though. So it's not going to be that tanky. Listen, as long as I can maintain the speed control... Oh, but if it's Life Orb, it has Heat Wave, right? If it's Life Orb, it has Heat Wave. I'm gonna keep my Incin on the field. I'm gonna attempt a Parting Shot onto Evil Tall. And I'm gonna attempt a Rock Fall onto their Incin. We'll see if any of those two things happen, though. I don't think so. Actually, I do think so. No, I don't think so, because they're gonna outspeed me with they they outspeed me with the airstream already. That's rough, man. I'm pretty much gonna need light screen to save my life. And I'm gonna need Zacian to like one man army this. Yeah, ground doesn't take one more, unfortunately. Now their instant's gonna outspeed my instant. Hopefully instant goes for parting shot. I don't think it will, and I don't think it should. But dude, just them having Evil Tall and me just like seeing that they had Evil Tall as an option and just saying, yeah, they don't have Evil Tall. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. It's okay. Alright, what do they do? Oh, they. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. They might have messed up. They kind of just opened the door a little bit. Let me let me walk in here. Let me creep on in. Maybe. That gives me another fake out turn if I need it. Get that parting shot, baby. Now I'm sure they have a fire move though, right? Okay, I'm gonna have to go back into Grim. Yeah, there's the Reflect. And maybe back into Ensign. Or should I take the shot and go into Zacian here? The thing is, like, they gave it Sun now. I'm gonna go into Zacian for now. I'm going to protect Zacian. I'm going to hard swap in my Ensign. But no, I'm going to protect Zacian and light screen. And then they're going to knock out my Grim, hopefully. And then I'll have a fake out turn for the Evil Toll. Like a fake out the Evil Toll spot and try to knock out the, the Groudon. I don't know. I'm going to try my best. No, because they still have they still have Ensign in the back. That's right. The incense is still lying in wait. Okay, I'm gonna light screen for now. Yeah, I think I lose. I'm gonna light screen protect, but I think I lose. Because they have the instant still in the back. Yeah, this they could just keep doing this, dude. I could have taken the shot there on you at all, but I didn't. Now they have the fake out turn. And I have to protect. Man, if I just went for that rock fall, dude. If I just went for that stupid rock fall, this game would have been different. Oh, competitive chess. 
they do have flair. They had everything. They have everything that they need to beat me. Uh, do they outspeed? Probably. Most likely. I was really hoping they would knock out my... My Grim, but I guess they didn't. Um, I mean, I could set Reflector now, right? And then just hard swap out into Ensign. It's kind of a sack off on my Ensign, but hey, they could always miss their moves, right? Even if they Oblivion Wing here just for HP, it's not going to be a lot of HP. I'm still going to try to win this like I have a chance, but I, I'm pretty sure this, this game is done. I have no way of controlling the, the Evil Tall speed. All right, there's a fake out. It's my Grim. Double Miss Heat Wave. Instant Avoids. That's the one I didn't need. All right, no, that's good. I have a fake out turn. Okay, I think my only option. I have one option. I have one way of maybe winning. I need to one shot this instant with B Blade, which I think I can do, and I need to fake out the Evil Tall. And then I need the quick attack on Evil Tall and hope that's enough damage. And then I need to dodge a Precipice Blade from this instant. I'm not sure if this is possible, but I'm sure it's heck gonna try. Evil Tall, fine. I just need to knock out the instant now. Which I'm pretty sure I do. Then next turn, I need my quick attack to knock out the evil call. Oh, instant lives! Oh, come on! Am I not max attackization, or is that just a roll for me? That's a stupidly tanky instant. Right? Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm not max attack. GG. I should have gone for play rough there. I honestly thought it was enough. I think I had a, I had a chance there, but I just threw it. <sighs> I'm so traumatized from going for anything that isn't 100% accurate that I do things like that. Uh, regardless, I wasn't going to one-shot the, the route on unless I crit it. But I'm super curious. Am I not? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not max attack here, right? Yeah, no, I'm not. Actually, I'm not even. Yeah. 210 is all I have. Oh, that's so unfortunate. And I think I'm jolly too, right? Yeah, jolly too. Ugh. Yeah, it's rough. That's my bad. I should I should have known. I should have checked how fast and strong my Zation was first. GG's, you can have it. I lose the game of VGC chess, but my opponent, they played very well. Kudos to them. All I I know what my misplay was. I should have hit Rockfall. It is what it is. GG. Palkia, Necrozma, Duskman. Very slow Trick Room team. Interesting. Also, Insin. Ugh. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. But the Rillaboom here is looking awfully juicy. Oh, this team is very tanky. I'm going to... I have no idea how I'm going to break through the Trick Room. I think immediately my thoughts go to like Calyrex, Groudon, Double Spread Moves, Wee Woo Wee Woo. Which isn't technically bad. Could just do it. Or I could just set up screens and stuff with Grim Snarl. Work my way there. Just work inside of the trick room. But I've always worked better with Wee Woo strats. So I'm going to go Calyrex and Groudon right away. With the Rillaboom in the back. And I'm also going to bring my own Ensign here. Ensign's going to be key to dealing with Enacrods on Duskman. Now I'm seeing a big issue. And that issue is that Palyrex, not Palyrex, I'm saying Palyrex because I'm just so used to that being a core, but the Palkia could be a big problem for us. Could be a big problem, but hey, let's do better than the last game. Last game was a fun game. We did make some mistakes. Let's not make those same mistakes. Now, this looks like a clear, like, I'm going to Trick Room and you're not going to like it lead. What if I Dynamax, though? If I Dynamax, theoretically speaking, if I Dynamax and Max Quake, I was intimidated. And they do have a fake out turn. But if I Dynamax and Max Quake, 
I mean, theoretically, the, the Pokemon I have in the back aren't that important, right? They're not Dynamax Pokemon, so I should just Max Quake here, right? I could also just burn it. That might be a better option, actually, than just, like, trying to roll with my negative one Groudon. If I just go into Instant and I just burn... I think I like that a lot better. Let me let me play a little bit more passively. All right. Let me hard swap into the one they want to fake out. And let me just burn the one that they want to Dynamax and set Trick Room with. I like that. And Instant could always carry Bulldoze. It's not super common, but it is a strategy that I've seen before. Um, that I've played against multiple times, actually. But hey, this Intimidate should still be nice for us. All right. They're going to fake out into my Instant. That's fine. That was a ground on spot here. Here's my Will-O-Wisp into their Necrozma Duskmane. If I neutralize the Necrozma here, that's pretty decent for us, I think. There's the Trick Room. Fine. You did it, Tom. You set Trick Room up. But you're burnt in the process and you're negative one in the process. They're not forced to switch out of that spot. So I'm also going to go ahead and Parting Shot out there. I'm really going to try to mitigate that spot as much as I can. And I'm also going to go into my Groudon. I'm assuming the instant is going to go for a dark move into my Cali because it can now. I got to preserve my Cali for when the trick room is over. I'm essentially just trying to stall at the trick room for as long as possible. I might go in, my, in with my Rilla though on the instant spot just because I don't want to go back in my Cali. Maybe I should have protected my Cali this turn while I'm doing the parting shot thing. Because I'm going to have to swap in a Pokemon there to take an incoming attack. And I just don't think that Rilla is strong enough. But I also don't think that my Calyrex is strong enough either. But fine, whatever. Let's go into the Groudon. Hopefully they don't parting shot either. No way. You're negative one and burnt and you still think it's a good idea to Dynamax? This is special. This has to be special. You have to be special. If you're this confident, you better be special. They are bulldozed. Okay, so they're gonna be... You're still burnt in negative one, though. Yeah, I get weakness policy is gonna happen, but... I say I told you guys it's gonna be bulldozed. I get weakness policy is going to happen, but what are you now? Uh, technically negative one, because burn makes you minus two, and then you already have the minus one. So you go back down to negative one. <laughs> and now you're now back down to negative two. <laughs> Guess what? I can make you negative three. <laughs> if I really wanted to go that route. Now I just don't know who to go into. I think I'm just going to settle for Rilla, but it's not a confident switch into Rilla. Because I don't want to lose the Rilla. Rilla's actually pretty important when dealing with the Palkia. I can only hope that they're not targeting down my Groudon. I can only hope. Rockfall? Now I hope they go for my Groudon. No, that's into Rilla. Still going to do absolutely no damage. Yeah, this is... I don't understand what they're doing here. Well, since they just broke their weakness policy on themselves... I think I'm just going to ignore that spot for the rest of the game. That sound like a plan? All I got to do now is just fake out the side spot and quake that side spot until the end of time. Now we're going to make sure that there's no flying types. And we're going to listen, listen to ourselves after we realize that there's a flying type. We don't make the same mistakes twice here on the channel. That's a lie. Uh, <laughs> let's go for the fake out here. End to the instant. And now I have no reason not to Dynamax and first check. No floaties. Perfect. Max Quake now into the instant spot. Should do a lot of damage. Probably also going to be Shunker Barrier on that instant, so it's probably not going to knock it out. But at least uh, we should be able to do a lot, you know. It won't knock it out, but it will do a lot. Dynamaxing. It's our turn now. Thank you. Now, if this is Bulldoze instant, what are the odds that it's also like Will-O-Wisp instant? <laughs> And why do I feel like those odds are very high? <laughs> I hope it's not, but... You know, I, I called Bulldoze. I did call Bulldoze. Alright, let's just fake out the instant real quick. Stop her from parting shot this turn. 
I was about to say, is it Rocky Helmet? No, it was just my, uh, it's just my life orb. Did you just crit me? That, that doesn't seem like, what? Are you mixed? Was that Photon Geyser? My dude is mixed, right? I don't even know anymore. I don't know what's happening with this Necrozma. I'm the one that got a crit, apparently. Oh, okay. What planet am I on? What is happening to me right now? Do these burns mean nothing? That had to be Photon, Photon Geyser. If you see the look of concern on my face, you're right. I'm very concerned. Into Ogre. Yeah, I have to fake out that spot too. I can't. Oh, great. Uh, and I can't parting shot either. I could parting shot the Ogre. So I can't protect. I can't fake out because of psychic terrain. Kind of stuck here. And I don't like that fact too much. Uh, if I parting... The issue with parting shot... How many turns of this trick room do they have left? Two. Yeah, the issue with parting shot is that I'm forced into my Cali. That's not great news. So I think I'm actually just going to go for the Darkest Lair on the Ogre. And I'm also just going to go for the Quake onto the Ogre. The, the, the crossbow shouldn't be able to Photon Geyser me now, right? This has to be focused. Okay, good. I, thankfully, I still have plus one special defense, and I don't care that much. Cool. Now I have plus two special defense and the special defense boost on my instant as well. Instant is actually slower than my uh, faster than my Groudon. Interesting. That's good to know. My, this is a very slow Groudon, apparently. Nice. Get the Darkest Larry. I don't think this is enough to knock out, but hey, it's close. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> he went for Water Spout? <laughs> Nice try, Tom. Nice try. Oh, you thought I wasn't going to attack your ogre there? You thought I wasn't going to do it? <laughs> Ooh, they went for water spout. That's a mistake. I hope you're locked onto that now. Uh, this is my only opportunity to get like a bunch of damage off to Necrozma, and I'm just going to take it now. Actually, no. I should knock out the ogre. I really should knock out the ogre. Doesn't matter with what, but I should knock out the ogre. I'm going to go for Flare Blitz because I find it funnier. And then Max Quake into Necrozma. I gotta take advantage of the fact that Necrozma is a baby and I'm not. The issue is, if they Trick Room, I could be in trouble again. No, no, because if they undo their own Trick Room, then that just means my Calyrex wins the game. Could theoretically keep that Ogre like that, so that Calyrex can come in and they just, like, not care. Ogre's gonna protect, okay. It's fine. Which means I could have attacked into Necroz. It is Photon Geyser! <laughs> okay. <laughs> It is Photon Geyser. Oh, no. Beautiful amount of damage here. All right, everything on my opponent's side of the field is at 1 HP. This is good news. Because it means that now... I should be okay. Oh, even better. The Cosmos gone. Um, I kind of just need the Ensign to go down. And then I can bring in my Calyrex. We'll see what their last is. I need to do some damage to that one. At least it can't Dynamax, but it can Trick Room again. Yeah, wow, that's rough. If they double into my Groudon, I could be in trouble. I'm going to Parting Shot into Palkia. And I'm going to P-Blades here. This is scary. This is a scary situation. Oh, there's one attack. I'm at plus three special defense. Have faith. Yikes! Hanging in. Miss something, dude! Ugh. Instant's gonna hang in there, though. That's good. That is good. That means we get a parting shot off. Okay. They went for two very inaccurate moves and made me very sad about it. Um, I have two opportunities here because of the sash. 
I can't fake them out, unfortunately, because Psychic Terrain... Actually, is that running out soon? I think they went for Photon Geyser on Max Mindstorm on their second turn of Dynamax, and they've been undynamax for... One turn? Two turns? This would have been the second turn. So that should be going away either this turn or the next. Hopefully this turn. Because then that means I get a fake out turn. Come on. Dang it. All right. Um. Yeah, we Astral. And we Darkest. That's our only play, right? Now, if they're smart, they set Trick Room. Well, no, because then my instant can knock out the Ogre, but still. It's still their best play. No matter what, the Ogre will be going down, whether it's this turn or the next. Oh, no, they just go for Spatial. Okay, fine. Anti my Cali. It's fine. All fine for now. That was a crit. That's not fine. But hey, I guess we have to take it. Now, how much can my Darkest do? Yes, Astral knocks out that. Your lefties? That's bad. There's good news, though. The good news is Pocket can only attack one of my Pokemon. All I have to do is click Astral. It'll knock out the Ogre. And whatever Palkia doesn't attack, the Incin will knock out the Palkia. I think they had to click Trick Room there to win the game. And they didn't do it. Now, even if they click Trick Room, then I just outspeed the Ogre, knock out the Ogre. Oh, but then two darkest. Actually, yeah, if they click Trick Room, I might have been in trouble. And they also crit through the Spatial Run, so that means that Spatial Run might have not even been a three-hit KO. Uh, a two-hit KO for them. Might have been a three-hit KO. So I did get one parting shot off on that Palkia earlier. I think we take this, though. I think this is still ours. It was a stressful amount of games. And a stressful way to come to a victory, but I think this is good. All right, they're thinking. They're scared. Astro Barrage eliminates Ogre. Brings down Palkia low. No, it just knocks it out. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank goodness. But here's the thing. Even if Palkia lived that one, they still don't win. Yeah, yeah I think I think we, we definitely did pin our opponent there in a great in a great way. And what a set of battles today, guys. What a set of battles. Let's go ahead and get you guys that rental code. And here you have the rental code for the team that won our September Series 13 Poke Sports League. What a great team it is, honestly. And I, and I really do think that the Rillaboom that we got to try out today really did get to showcase why it's important and how much of a threat it still can be in the current meta. You saw that every single time I had the Rillaboom in the game, it was almost always primary like target numero uno. Like, everyone wanted to knock out the Rillaboom because the Rillaboom just puts a lot of pressure on on the Ogre specifically. It's also really nice to have some type of priority when the opponent wants to go for Tailwind or when they want to go for, for Trick Room, just having that answer to it. Even though we lost Game 2 as well, I still think that we didn't lose the game because of the team. We lost the game because of our brain. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, in all seriousness, uh, seriousness, we made a prediction. The prediction didn't go our way. As is Pokemon. It happens. Right? So I think that you know, playing that game back, if I got a second opportunity to play that game, and I would just listen to myself and said, hey, they could have an evil tall. Maybe you shouldn't go for a quake. Instead of my my you know my left brain telling me, hey, it's just probably Zation in the back. You can go for Quake. <laughs> but yeah, overall, this team was super fun. Thank you so much, Sheldon, for making this team public. Thank you so much for, for competing in the league. And also, congratulations on winning the whole thing. I'm really proud of you, buddy. Um, also, make sure to check out Sheldon's link down below in the description next to the Pokey Pace and the rental if you want to play this team over there. Anyway, I'm Ken, this is Pokey Sports. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. Peace out. Bye-bye.